Alright, so, Baron Raimondo is actually in Caracas, so let's go over and get him real fast before we go after uh, Marky Montalban. <clears throat> As he can get us on the track for our next missing relative, and our next piece of the, uh, you know, lost treasure of the Incas map. There's Baron Raimondo, get back here, you slob. Uh, not the treasure galleon, we want to go after Baron Raimondo. The treasure galleon might be a, a good thing to hit next. Oh, and I just turned right into that broadside. side. That was great. I'm gonna go back for repairs after this. That was a horrible maneuver on my part. He has a lot less crew, so let's just take him out. Ugh, wind, work with me here. Alright, here we go. He should not be as fast as Marky Montalba. He should be a pretty easy fight. Yeah, this guy's no joke. Perfect. Okay. Gotcha. My uncle. We received the least helpful note ever. That's okay. Let's put our guns back up to where they're supposed to be. Take enough food. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this ship, since I'm about to go over here. I would attack the treasure galleon, but he blew us pretty much to hell before we got a chance to fight uh, in person. And I don't want to deal with a blasted up ship going against a well-defended treasure galleon. Because those things are not trade galleons, they pack guns. Right, let's just repair my ship really quick, and then we're gonna talk to the merchant and sell the goods I forgot I was carrying. Uh, I'm gonna sell some of this food. We don't need six months of food, even to go to where we're going. And let's sell this thing. 1,800 gold, nice. Now, if we're going after Montalban, I'm gonna want more crew. Up near Santo Domingo, but we don't have a landmark yet. Okay. All right, the captain. Uh, come on out back. Catch me outside. Ooh, let's uh, not do that. <laughs> How are we losing this fight? can't lose to annoying captain. Oh. Well, that was embarrassing. <laughs> Let's try that again. Fortunately, there's no real consequences to losing to annoying captain. I gotta warm back up. I took a break. Uh, rusty. <laughs> it's very early this morning. My coffee is not finished brewing. And other excuses as well. Oh! Slowing down the taunt a little bit, I think. Come on, <laughs> this difficulty is not a joke. Everybody has the potential to beat me. <laughs> for the stab, it's a little bit faster, I think. We'll see. I really need to learn to block better. I know the longsword would help with that, so maybe I should switch to the longsword. So maybe my problem is I'm not blocking fast enough. <clears throat> I think really though, it's just there's not enough time for me to actually see the input before I have to do it. Oh. 
There we go. See, and all the easier difficulties, my strategy has just been attack, 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 because I can get there faster than them, but um, this difficulty, I think I really need to prioritize defending a little bit, so possibly I need to try the Lone Sword out a couple times. <laughs> I'm going to bring them along just because if we're going to go after Montalban, I want crew. Um, which actually means I do probably want to buy some food. Yeah, let's do it. Alright. We're headed to Villa Hermosa, I believe, which is quite a distance away. But we'll catch up with him. Or actually, I don't think we have to catch up with him at all. We're not going after him in terms of trying to catch him again. He just lives there. So, we'll catch him for sure if we can get there. But like I said, we got a ways to go. For once, though, the wind is not fighting us. It's just puny wind. <laughs> Alright. We don't have very much food. <laughs> um, if you wonder why I don't talk to the abbot, because normally I'm stopping at one of these locations with a mission in mind of going somewhere else, and typically the abbot will want you to escort refugees somewhere. Uh, and that takes time and distracts me from what I'm doing, so I don't ask him unless... I'm not going to ask him unless I have nothing else I'm doing. But I'm always a busy pirate. I'm also trying to get to Port Freedom here real fast. Pick up a little bit more food, I think. If I can just wiggle in there. Whoops, I didn't really mean to go to the tavern, but let's get this. Baron is in Santa Domingo. Alright, we'll get him on the way back. I don't want extra crew, because that's going to be extra food I have to keep stocked. These little settlements don't have enough food. <laughs> Alright, we're not far from Villa Hermosa, though, so I think we'll make it. Worst comes to worst, we can try and, like, sneak into Campeche or something. Although I thought I had a false mustache that would let me trade with merchants in cities that hate me. Maybe I didn't actually buy that. Did I buy that? Where's my item? Yeah, help me trade with merchants and enemies. Why does that not pop up when I dock in an enemy city. Do I have to sneak into the merchant first? Alright, three months of food and Villa Hermosa is right there. So we're just looking for Skull Head west of Villa Hermosa. I think we'll be fine. Get away from me. Stop shooting at me! I'm not bothering you. Alright, I'm just gonna pull in here because it's right here. Buy a little bit more food. Oh, he only had two tons of food? What a useless monastery. <laughs> oh, a grain transport. <laughs> Don't you shoot at me. Oh, why did I attack it with the wind blowing straight in my face? You really want to get in a shooting match with a ship that has 40 guns on it? About 37 now? Alright, I feel like if I shoot it again, it's going to explode. Let's just seal the food. Surrender, ye cowards. <laughs> Fill the hole with food. Although maybe before I attack, I want to have a uh, ship to help carry cargo once I ransack him. I think I am going to try to do that. I'm just going to take this trade galley in. Because I'm pretty sure his hideout will have loot in it. I don't want to walk away from that. Oh, no, 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 why am I shooting it? I shouldn't have shot at it. Because I'm going to want to keep it. <laughs> and they surrender. All right. I'll keep it even though I mildly damaged it. <laughs> Sugar is good. drop some of this food, so I have more space in the hole for loot. Oh, this 
Spanish Pirate Hunter. It's a speedy one. So it is going to catch me. I'm going to have to try to fight him. But it is a royal sleep. So it's being fairly stupid. In fact. And it's proving that by running away immediately. I'm damaged. How badly damaged is my ship? 69%. Ouch, that is not nice. And the Spaniards surround me. Well, Hermosa is over there. We are looking for Skullhead. I don't want to get too close to Villa Hermosa. <clears throat> right, I'm going to try and park here in San Carlos and see if I can get my ship repaired, even if it's got to pay for it. Yeah, I'll pay for it. I'll even pay for the repairs on that one so it speeds up. And they're not going to want any sugar here. That's okay. Santa Benedicta! <gasps> Hold on a minute. <laughs> we found it! And there's Skullhead! So his hideout and the Indy the Incan City are right next to each other. No, 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 hang on. I don't want to come to your city. To your settlement. I want to raid the lost city of the Incas with one month worth of food. Okay, maybe Return to ship, buy all the food that Santa Benedicta will offer. There's not a lot of food. We have a lot of crew. It's hard to feed them all. And then El Dorado should be right next to the stone head. The stone head just west. Just east of it. So it should be like right here. I think this is it. Yes! We found gold worth over 50,000 lost pieces. Gold pieces. And all it took was plundering an ancient civilization. That was awesome. Okay. Now, skull head. And next to skull head. No, Raimondo. Give me his hideout. So we need to go southwest. Dead tree. Two dead trees. Keep going. There's a totem. I'm hung up on the totem. All right, we need to go basically due west from the totem. There's a temple. Need to go a little bit northwest. It should be right there. An army of Indian mercenaries blocks your path. All right. How many of them? <laughs> I thought it would have more people. Oh, there's bigger units. Okay. All right. Well, what the plan is going to be is to. Kind of let them come to us a little bit. And use the woods for cover. Because I don't know how many he has. It looks like a lot. <laughs> also looks like he's going to try to flank us. So we'll let the buccaneers hit them. And then we'll launch ranging attacks out of the woods with whatever's nearby. Well, the buccaneers can't see very well in the woods. That could be a problem. Well, be a little bit more aggressive than I would have liked to be. You gotta hit them a little bit. Right, so if they want to attack me in the woods, that's okay. 
And I'm going to leave this unit here. To act as a flank pin, basically hold that line against these three units. Alright, let's try the Buccaneers. They're going to shoot... I would like to shoot them at a unit that's not in cover. So I'm actually going to move them into cover. Have them hit them. I didn't want to be fighting units that are also in the forest, but, you know, such is life. Uh, I didn't hit the ones in the forest. I didn't want to add being in the forest to their bonuses. Let's move them over there. So those pirates are going to get run off, it looks like. Which isn't good, because they've still got four units left. Alright, but it is good because I can launch a attack here down the hill, and I might be able to send the officers to try to take the town. Because their defensive line has pretty much just collapsed. Hold up here. The Buccaneers have been basically useless because they can't see anything. Oh, shoot. Sneaked up on me. I didn't realize they were that close. Oh, I forgot they can move that fast through the woods. Alright, the officers are going to attempt to just take the town, and that will win us the game because. <laughs> that was tough. Alright, I'm going to stick with my rapier because I don't want to try a new strategy fighting Montalban. Got it at last. Come on. Use the parry. Sweep the leg. Do something that wins. I don't want to spend the rest of my life trying to hunt down Montalban. This ends now. Yes, keep doing that. No, don't do that. Yes, stab me. Keep stabbing me. I like it when you try to stab me. Because it never works for you. Because I'm just parry spamming like a jerk. Why did that work? It's all down to luck of how many times he stabs me. Yes! You, sir, are... Ooh, fancy. You, sir, cannot stop me. It's over. Yeah! Vengeance is mine. You are a master tactician, sir. Truly, I have done your family a terrible injustice. I give you a hundred thousand gold pieces, which are rightfully yours. Among my crew are eight specialists of extraordinary skill. Henceforth, they will serve you. I myself will serve as your cabin steward. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, then. We will sail away. I am saving the game. Uh, I don't know why my ship is turning randomly. We're gonna go to Port Cachet and pick up food and stuff. Make sure my ship's not damaged. Uh, let's see if we can sell anything. Because I did not actually get the opportunity to loot his fortress. Well, that's okay. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I don't want that because I don't think that that... I think that only helps if you lose. And if I lose, then I'm just gonna be crying instead of trying to get back... I don't want to go all the way to St. Kitts. Alright, let's get as much food as we can hold for now. And try to sell... the sugar somewhere that will take it. And go after Baron Raimondo, or maybe we can go after Captain Kidd. 
Although Captain Kidd is going to stay wherever he is, and uh, Baron Raimondo was in Santo Domingo. Look at all that money! <laughs> the Incans and Marquis Montalban. Let me see what specialists he's... So basically, now I have like a full array of specialists. That's amazing. Villains Avenge, 10 of 10. <laughs> Lost Cities Quest. There must be more Lost Cities of the Incas. So we gotta find my family. We gotta find uh, more of the Lost Cities of the Incas. Which is fine with me. I'm, I'm good with raiding cities worth 50,000 gold. Most it gets raided. I would love to sell all of the sugar and get this trade galleon out of my fleet. So I can chase Baron Raimondo in peace. So I might head to the Florida Keys and then head south towards Santo Domingo. Since the whole reason I put a Dutchman in charge of the Florida Keys was to have a friendly port. Although I'm pretty sure the Florida Keys is not going to have great prices for sugar, but that's fine. directly into the wind! <laughs> Make a drinking game. Every time that I complain about the wind, take a shot. You'll be dead before you finish the video. ship transporting a new governor to Florida. Interesting. Is that a pirate ship? No, that's a Dutch ship. It just shot up, so I thought it was a pirate ship. <laughs> Buddy, if you're going to the Florida Keys, you're going the wrong way. Yeah, it's a poor port. They're not going to want to buy my sugar, but I'm just going to sell it anyway, because I don't really care. I didn't pay for the sugar. <laughs> just need enough of it gone that I can sell this other ship and load up on food. Sell that thing. Sail away. Alright, to Santo Domingo. Stop for food here, I think. Oh, 
connection to the landmark. Wonderful. He's not going to be in Santo Domingo by the time I get there. It's going to take me so long to have gotten there after uh, squaring off with Montalban. No, don't crash into me and then make me ask if it wants to attack you. I just want to go to Santo Domingo. Perfectly content to leave the French completely alone right now. I'm almost there. Just need to go a little bit farther. Crew's happy because we've made 170,000 gold. Which split amongst 150 crew is going to be a lot. Slingshot around to Santo Domingo. Probably going to have to sneak into the tavern because I'm almost positive that they hate me here. But that's alright. I can make it happen. It's not my fault that Montalban was Spanish. I don't want to attack the town. We'll just sneak in. Jump out and hit him, but that guy's probably going to turn down this road. Eh, maybe not. If either one of those two turns around, though, I'm very screwed. Yeah. Back into the hay bale where I'm apparently invisible. I just want to know where Baron Raimondo went. sneaking. There's the governor's mansion, so the tavern can't be far. The tavern's usually north. Shoot. Hey, Bales, save me. Guys, leave. Don't turn around. Is that the tavern? Yes. It's going to be like, oh, Baron Raimundo, he left for Villa Hermosa 35 years ago.
And all of this will be for nothing. Ah. Hey, Bale! Even though he saw me go in there. <laughs> Look at this swarm of guys preventing me from getting to the tavern. Waiting until they clear the entrance to the tavern instead of just camping it. They're all standing right where I need to go at the door to get in. Now there's one behind the tavern. Looking straight where I would come out of the hay bale. Patience. Okay. Pounce on opportunity. Rio de la Hacha. Okay, that's a... I'm the most notorious pirate on the Spanish main. Sure. Still no, uh... You know, actual landmarks. But we're right near Santo Domingo, so cool. Alright. We're heading off... For Rio de la Hacha. Which is down there. With a decent wind, we should get there quickly. I'm worried about food. Could attack that Spanish trade galleon, but that's the wrong direction, so we'll just hope to see another one on the way. Military payroll. They'll have food. <laughs> it's been a while since we actually raided the Spanish to earn our reputation. No Marquis Montalban, sir. But you are surprisingly effective. Tried to cancel the animation too soon. We might this just win this by attrition. Yeah, that looks like it's what it's gonna be. He's gonna have to surrender because I have more people than him. Swashbuckling fencing is no joke, man. All I wanted was your money and your food. I'll take the guns to replace the ones you damaged. There's plenty of food. We'll just move on now. <laughs> I feel like later, you know, the bigger the ship I got, the more I spend time being like, oh, gotta buy food, gotta buy food. Treasure ship. Alright, for the once, I'm gonna pass up the treasure ship because I know I don't have hold space, and I'm in pursuit. Another military payroll? Good grief, these guys are in, uh, cocky. French are invading Gibraltar. Where's Gibraltar? Oh, uh, <laughs> the English took that random town? Okay. Almost to Rio de la Hacha. I don't think Baron Raimondo is still here. But we're gonna try to catch where he went next. Which is gonna require more sneaking.
Really? Look at this. It's a dead end. With a guard in it. With two guards. safe fortress here, though, because they can't come in here. Captain Clueless marches again. No, he doesn't. I just want to go to the tavern. Why do you hate me so much? Maybe the they stole their payroll. Turn left. Maybe that will serve as a distraction and draw them away from over here. Actually, it seems like that worked. I just need this guard to not come down this alleyway for once. here to be safe when we make our next plans. Okay. <sighs> Swashbuckler! You'd think, oh, this is just a kid's game. It's 80, rated E10, and you, you know, sword fight with the number pad, and there's all sorts of goofy shenanigans, and people say things like, Burn in a Broken bra! But no, turn it up to Swashbuckler, and suddenly you're playing frigging pirate Dark Souls. <laughs> Where is the tavern? No, 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 no. Do, just don't turn around. They're gonna see me, they're gonna see me. Time to run away. There's a hiding spot. There's the tavern. Oh, snap! Hidey hole here. I just gotta wait for this guy to pass and that guy to turn the wrong direction. So many guards! I haven't even set the alarm off! Look at this nonsense. I 
I want to say just be patient, but Lord. I gotta jump because it's a guard coming. He sees me. That guy didn't know where I was, so I'm gonna try and get into the hay bale real quick. wear themselves out looking for me over there. the governor's mansion. The tavern should be just this way. It's gonna move before the light reaches me. Oh, this is nerve-wracking. I think that's the tavern actually on my left. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just run, just run, just run, just run. Yes! They won't possibly look for me here. Oh, Blood Rock, near Santo Domingo. We can get the treasure next time we're up there. Puerto Bello. Alright, well, we're tracking him down, slowly but surely. 